there is a history that we've had to, to endure and still survive as a people. And so much was done to our people to remove our identity as a people. So much was, was lost because the attempt of colonization was to, to assimilate our, our people into another way of life. And that had a big impact on our people. And what usually happens is when people can't seem to come to terms with dealing with those challenges that affect them, that is creating these symptoms, you know, of depression, loneliness, you know, the, these, these emotions that we go through, and then we, we suddenly, we, we lose the value of life. Because we don't have a, we feel we don't have a purpose. And it's so much easier, you know, for, for many, you know, to, to turn to addictions, and so many have and continue to do so, they turn to, to those addictions because it's, it's their way of dealing with the pain that they're feeling in their, in, their, in their life. Addiction caused me to throw all my hopes and dreams out the window. Little by little, it took away every single value and moral I had. Like many other Indigenous youth, I was predisposed to it. Addiction doesn't just affect the user. It has a ripple effect where others involved in the user's life suffer as well. Children, siblings, parents, partners, friends, and many others. It brings resentment, frustration, anger, and despair. Intergenerational trauma has prevented a lot of that movement of return, where the, many of our people, because of, of indoctrination, many of our people have forgotten the importance of, of supporting the young people to go through that rite of passage. But prophecy again foretold, you know, that we would survive this, this dark time that we've had to go through. And then we, we have to be able to, to find that spirit, that spirit that is in each of us. Your bottom can be at any time you want it to be. You just have to stop digging. Because it's progressive, it gets worse, never better. Recovery has given me a new life that is beyond my wildest dreams. It is filled with hope, love, contentment, and a connection with a higher power. I chose to break the cycle. You can too.